Hello, welcome to the, uh, the first part of my Stormgate series. Um, I don't know where these guys are going, doesn't matter. So this is just going to be a very simple overview of just the units. I don't know anything about this game, I just got into the closed beta. Uh, there's going to be an open beta, I believe for a week starting on the 5th, for Steam Next Fe Fest. Steam Next Fest. And that's when this video is going to be uploaded, uh, along with probably a bunch of other ones. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly, probably just um, uh, an overview for each faction and then as many ladder games as I can play between now and then I'll just end up on YouTube starting on the 5th. So, um, yeah, so this is one of the two factions. There is going to be three at least. The other one is not in the game. And I don't even think we have everything for the factions that are in the game yet. Like, this isn't available in this current build of the game, for example. Whatever this does. Um... So we're just going to take a very quick look at everything. Um, I'm basically learning this for the first time too. So these are your gatherers and your builders. These are called bobs. They make all the buildings here. I've just made one of everything to kind of to figure out what it all does. So this is your um, central command. Uh, this is what builds your builders. There's a tier two upgrade that I did so I could build some of these structures. Basically gives you access to other tech. Um, this guy is a scout. We'll do. We'll look at him again in a sec. But uh, you start the game with one of these. They are pretty self-explanatory. You use them to scout. So this. Uh, let's talk about resources. You have um, what's this called? Luminite and Therium. And while we're here, this is your supply. Basically, how many uh, units or uh, guys you can build with your maximum, which you increase with the first structure. We'll talk about the habitat. <clears throat> Uh, anyways, back to resources. Uh, Luminite. This is, uh, I guess, your main resource. You'll find um, more of this stuff all over the map, I think. Yeah, right here. Uh, the other one, Ethereum, usually looks like a big patch of minerals that usually you can't see until you're, like, actually there. I think it actually regens. I, I fully mined out Ethereum patch, and the stuff kind of started to come back, I think. I might be... Maybe I imagine that. I don't know. But uh, I do think it comes back slowly. So this is what it actually looks like when you find a brush patch. Okay. Um, this is unscripted, by the way, so my thoughts may not be super organized. So just sorry. Anyways, um, so let's see. Building. So this is what increases our supply, how many guys we can make. It has two upgrades. So the first one being the solar habitat. The next one being the rampart. So solar habitat, when we get this... Um, it's already kind of doing this automatically. Basically increases production speed and attack speed of a nearby structure by 25%, so if I wanted to build, it's not close enough, but basically it, it shoots this little laser at whatever building you want to increase the speed of. So I can do this, if I were to start a, a research at this uh, tech facility, it's just going to go faster now because of this. So generally you probably want to build these next to your buildings, I was just, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so this is the barracks, this is your first, I guess, uh, what would you call this, just unit production building, this is where you make stuff that fights. Um, You've got a Lancer. This guy just attacks ground units. He has a sword. Oops. Pretty cool. There you go. Um, this is the Scout. He's fast. He's a dog. Who cares? Um, he has some abilities. He has one ability. Greatly increase the Scout's vision range radius for 10 seconds. So let's see what that looks like. Here, let's use the one that we have over here. So this is our range. Press Z. Bam. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Um... Med tech. Uh, so this guy just heals your units. And this is the Exo. Um, he can attack ground and air. So here he is attacking a ground unit. Here's an air unit. I'm shooting my own guys just, you know, to show you what this looks like. Uh, that's pretty good range. So anyways. That's this building. Um, I don't think I missed any abilities. Oh yeah, of course, the medic has abilities. So the med tech, I should say. Um, this is an automatic... This is automatically casted. This just heals your guys. Like, if this guy gets hurt, this guy heals them. Pretty straightforward. Uh, this is called Nano Swarm. Basically, you put this on a unit. If it's a mechanical unit on your team, it heals it. <clears throat> um, if it is on the enemy team, it damages it. It heals more than it damages, if I recall correctly. Yeah, so... You have to research it, which we'll touch on very shortly. This is System Shock, removes all positive buffs from enemy units, uh, and then removes all negative buffs from friendly units, so... Pretty straightforward. I guess it also gives them movement speed, so that's kind of cool. So that's the Barracks, and then the Barracks has a building that will 
unlock tech or just do upgrades to those units. It's called your biokinetics lab. <clears throat> um, so let's see, this first one, the lancers, which I think is the sword guy, right? Yeah. So allows lancers to increase their attack and movement speed each time they're damaged. Kind of cool. Uh, improve scouts of bonus damage against the light units. I guess this would be a maybe a fun upgrade to rush if you were going to try and pick off some harvester builder guys, whatever you call these, worker units, I guess. Um, and then here we've got the... Oh, sorry, we're looking at upgrades. Okay, so 25% bonus movement speed for two seconds on the XO. On attack. So I guess they attack and they move faster. So, there. Uh, increase the energy regeneration of med techs and allows them to use nano swarm. So that's that ability we looked at just a second ago. Um, over here we've got the mech bay. And the mech bay gives us these three guys. So this, two of these units have two modes. Um, so let's see, we've got our hedgehog here. This just does a ground attack in this form. Then it has a mounted, or not mounted, what am I saying? It has a siege mode? And it's just got a lot more range, and then it can hit air units. I don't think it can hit ground units in this mode. It cannot. So, there's that. He's, uh, he's got good speed relative to other units in the game. Um, we have our Vulcan. Pretty straightforward. His one ability is that he can jump if you research it. I haven't actually tried this out yet. I'm kind of curious to see what that looks like. I'll try and take a look at that before I end this video. Um, he only shoots ground. A little bit counterintuitive because he has a minigun. So, if I try to attack an air unit, no dice. So, he's also very slow. And the medic will need to research Nano Swarm to be able to heal him. I would, I'm gonna, I imagine that you can repair him with a bob. Yeah, it does look like you can. <clears throat> um, okay, so that's the Vulcan. So let's take a look at the Atlas. This is basically a long-range siege unit, so when he's unseaged, like the Hedgehog, he has a short-range ground attack. When you go into siege mode, it is not an air attack like the Hedgehog. It's just a very long-range um, splash damage ground attack. So... This is one you gotta be careful with because I'm fairly certain it does splash damage, meaning if let's pretend like this med medic is a enemy. If we attack it, yeah, it does damage to everyone in the area, including your own guys. And that's not just because I shot my own guy, that that would have happened anyways. Um So that's the the Atlas. I don't know if he has any upgrades. Let's see. Sentinel Atlas. Okay, here's one for the Atlas. Lights the ground on fire, dealing 15 damage per second. That's kinda awesome. I want to know what that looks like, too. Did our jump... So let's take a look at this jump. Oh, so it's kind of like a dash. Target location. Damage. That's cool. So it's like a little dash. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much everything there. Let's see if the Hedgehog has an upgrade. The Hedgehog. Increase the range of the deployed Hedgehog's anti-air weapon by plus five, and the mobilized Hedgehog's anti-ground weapon by plus two. So that's neat. Um, excuse me. We're not editing. <laughs> Let's see, what's this? Uh, we have a Sentinel. Okay, well, actually, let's look at the building first. We'll get to this in a sec, because this works for both of these. So that was the mech bay and the mech bay units. Um, so this is the hangar. This is going to make your flyer units. Okay, so first guy, we have the Hornet. This is actually really cool. So, like, I wish I had made more of these for this example. But, like, let's say you have a Hornet. Let's, say, let's pretend like we've got six of these guys, and we're fighting. And then, like, let's say this guy's health gets really low. If I highlight him and press the B key, doesn't matter how far away he is, he's just going to get really fast movement speed, and he's going to turn around and fly back to the nearest hangar, where he will stay until he's fully repaired, and there's nothing you can do to reverse this series of events yourself once you've hit this button. He will go back no matter what. Um, so you won't accidentally mi make uh, micro mistakes if you send one back to repair while you're harassing with the remaining units. Um... So yeah, I think the only thing that would really stop him from getting back is death. But he goes pretty fast, so... So yeah, we have two of them here, so I'll just show you what that would look like now. So, let's say I was like running around, you know, attacking stuff with these guys, and I was like, oh, this guy's fucked up, I want to send him back. We just highlight him and press B, except I can't because I already did it. It's on cooldown. But like, say I do this guy. And yeah, pretty pretty cool. Little Nice little fun uh, micro you can do in the middle of a fight. Um, so that's the Hornet. And I don't know if he has any upgrades. Let's take a look. Nope, not yet. What's the plan? 
if ever. We'll see. Um, so Hornets, uh, Evax, these guys are transport units, um, but they can also put up a mine in the air, like a an air mine. So, yeah, it, it just blows people up in the air. I just, th that's actually kind of cool because if someone's chasing you out of their base and you can just drop one of those while you're running away after you do a drop attack or something, so. Um, loads ground units into the evac. So, one little difference to mention between the Infernal and the Vanguard is that the Infernal's um, transport air unit has to land to load stuff. Whereas this guy, you can just jump in there from the ground and it's fine. So... <clears throat> There's the evac, and we've got one more unit to go over, and a couple buildings. So this is the Sentinel. Um, what abilities do we have on this thing? Launches a missile at the target area on impact. Enemy units have their movement speed reduced by 25%, damage reduced by 40%, and vision reduced by 90% for 10 seconds. Uh, that's a mouthful. Basically, it makes them suck. Uh, nano defense bubble. Spawns a bubble on the ground that reduces damage. Ground units within the bubble take from ranged attacks by 50%. Last 20 seconds. That actually seems really useful. Um, increase the energy regeneration of Sentinels and allows us... So, let's let's go ahead and look at this. This is the machine lab. This does your... Much like the uh, biokinetics lab is to the barracks, the machine lab is to both the mech bay and the hangar bay. Um, this is where you go to just upgrade your units. So, that's pretty much it for military units. But here's uh, one cool, fun thing with their defense structure. And this building actually changes quite a bit depending on what you load into it. So it would seem that with nothing in it, it shoots. And I'm fairly certain mech units can't load into it, but I'm going to just make sure. <laughs> yeah, they don't, they don't load into it. But uh, your barracks units, you only put one in at a time, but it, it changes what this building does. So if I put a, an EXO in there, it's just a bigger kind of turret now with better range I think so that's one version um, if I unload him and throw a medic in there now it just becomes a giant AOE healing field so as you can see here I'm attacking my guy just to give you an example um, it heals everybody in the area as you can see his health here is going up so that was the medic we did the exo let's do the lancer um I don't know what the fuck this does. It's a buzzsaw. Okay, it shoots buzz, buzzsaws. Um, I, I guess it shoots buzzsaws. That's, the, that's it. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to be like a melee attack or something. I wonder if a bob can go in there. I haven't tried that. Oh, a bob can. I didn't, see, I didn't know about this one. That's really cool. So you can have like a little repair area if you're doing mech. I wonder if there's anything else that goes in here I didn't think about. I am certain air units can't go in here, but why is this happening? How do I stop this? Stop. This is, I don't know why this is taking so long. Oh, I salvaged it. Oh no, I didn't show you the other things it does. That's okay. Uh, let's build another one. No, not this. Oh no, everything's falling apart. We were doing so good. Um, sentry post. All right. Let's have these guys all do it. So this is another, here's, here's a little tutorial. We'll, we'll make uh, lemonade out of this. Uh, you can have multiple guys work on the same thing and speed it up. Something the uh, Infernals cannot do. So that's fun. Okay, we have a new one. All right, so who didn't we do? We did the medic, we did the exo, we did the buzzsaw guy. I don't think we did the dog. So you can put the dog in there. And now this just becomes basically a... Um, a giant vision granting thing or something, maybe. I don't know. Greatly increase the sensor array's uh, vision radius for 10 seconds. So let's see what that looks like. This is the edge of our vision on the minimap here. Press this button. What do we got? Okay, nice. More vision. That's that's pretty cool. Um, scrapyard. This building is, like, not crazy interesting, but it's useful. Um, once you get to the Tier 2 uh, Central Command you can build this thing and what it will do is cut down travel time between your guys so instead of them harvesting the therium walking up to putting it in here you can throw this down right next to the therium and then they just basically just you know they don't have to walk as far speeds up your therium farming 
So that's pretty much it for these guys. Um, I may have missed something important. It really probably doesn't matter. Oh, we're, there's three other things we'll cover. The abilities. They only have three globals in the mo uh, at the moment. So Bob Overcharge. This is your, your construction, guys. Um, grants all nearby Bobs. 100% increased damage. 100 armor. That's kind of crazy. 100% increased construction speed. So this is kind of your home defense. And Infernal has their own sort of thing similar to this that we'll look at in their video. But this is like just kind of a way to turn these guys into chads for a moment. So let's just look at the, the difference. Let's have like uh, these three guys here the kill a Bob. So there's that. Now let's see what that looks like with 100 armor from the ability. So we have to do it here, I think. Yeah, so same three guys. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a lot that's a bit tankier for sure. So you could you could use that to kind of defend against something or to get like a I think an influx of resources because it does increase that right. No, it's just increased damage armor and construction speed. So I guess if you wanted to build something really fast, you could do that. Um, so this one to launch a drone across the map to the target location from the nearest vanguard command, granting vision along its path. The drone will then remain at the target for 120 seconds. I wonder what the range is like on this. So it goes from the nearest one. So can we go this far and will it just go all the way? No, are we just out of range? Oh no, there it is. I apologize. It was going. <laughs> uh, it doesn't appear to be animated yet. I'm guessing the final graphic won't look like that. Uh, but that's cool. I actually sent two. Uh, shields up. This is our last global ability. Places a shield on a friendly target unit that absorbs 1,000 damage over 10 seconds. So, a shield on a friendly target that unit absorbs 1,000 damage. I guess if you really wanted a particular unit not to die, this would be really useful. I don't know... Maybe this is like a lot better in co-op if you can... There's, 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 there's going to be a co-op mode as well, and I think Maybe the 3v3 mode will have this, but I don't know, so don't quote me on that. But basically, there, there is going to be heroes in the game, for sure, in the co-op mode. I don't know about the 3v3 mode. Um, so maybe this will be really good for souping your hero up even more to stop him from getting assassinated or something. Um, or for, like, a drop. If you're doing a drop and then you're like, I really don't want to lose this drop ship full of guys, you could drop that giant shield on him. So... Yeah, that's pretty much it for Vanguard. We're going to do a video on the Infernal now. This is just an AI bot. That's on, like, easy mode. He doesn't really do anything. So, um, yeah, I guess uh, see me the next one. If you guys like this game and you want to see more of this stuff from me, uh, like, comment, subscribe, or whatever. Uh, that helps. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.